Hi, this is Scott Weidenkiewicz from Photocrabby, and in this video I want to show you how to use the Pro Lightbox that comes included with NextGen Pro. I've already gone and uploaded a gallery to my test site, and now what I'm going to do is using the Attach to Post interface, I am going to uh, select a Pro Thumbnail Gallery. I'm going to select that new test gallery I just created, and then under here there's an option for Display Triggers. And there's three options you can choose for this. Always, exclude small screens, and never. Right now, I'm going to choose always. I'm going to save that, and I'm just going to update this post that I already created just to make sure the settings are correct. When that is done, I will open up this post in a new tab, and I'm going to show you what the display uh, triggers, what these different options actually are. So you can see here in the, in the bottom, of, bottom right of each thumbnail, are these two little buttons. Those are, are the display trigger. One is meant to just open the Pro Light box. The other is to open the social tab inside the Pro Light box, and I'll show you what that is. Now, the, the reason why we gave three options is because not everybody wants to use these display triggers, so that's why there's a never. There's an always, which is what is currently set, so that no matter what it shows, and then there is a exclude on small screens feature, which means that once you get to a iPhone size, the display triggers will actually disappear. So there's now three ways you can pull up the Pro Light box. The first way is just by tapping, clicking on one of the thumbnails. And you can see here the Pro Light box is now showing. We can go ahead and close that, and I'll show you. Here, same thing, we've got this sort of box with a right arrow that also will open up the Pro Light box. And last, so we can click on, the, on this one little bubble and it'll bring up the comment box as well. Now, let's close that back up. Now, what I want to show you is the features of the Pro Light box and I want to show you some little hidden uh, Easter eggs that can come in handy as well if you're using it to display galleries in front of clients or if you want to instruct them and whatnot. So let's pull this back up once more. And now the first thing I want to show you is that the, uh, you can actually start a slideshow. So I'm going to hit the, the play pause button to start that. And the slideshow is going to start going and you can choose your transitions inside of the, gal of the Pro Light Box options. Let's pause that. The next is the full screen. Let's click this. This is actually the full screen option. So now your light box is full screen. And it's important to know that if your photos are larger than what I'm using, it, they will actually fill the screen. And I'll show you an example of my personal site using large photos once this is, once I get through this demonstration, I'll show you one with large photos. So then let's uh, close that full screen. Go back to the regular browser. The next thing I want to show you is the info tab, and that's going to bring up the title of the photo. So you can change the title, whatever you want. Close that again. And the next is the chat bubble. So this is actually going to be for commenting and for social sharing. So within here, you can comment. We can say, nice boots, right? So these are hiking boots. We're going to post that comment, and now the comment is posted. We can also go and we can share this on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, and Pinterest, and that will share just this one photo. If we go to the next one, you'll see the comment has changed, and now you can share that individual as well. So this tab, the comment or the social tab, is completely individualized per photo. So as we keep going, it'll keep changing, say, nice tent. And to go back to this one, nice boat. And if I just keep going between them, you can click on the thumbnails, you can click on the left, right tabs, the buttons here, and you'll see that the uh, comments will keep changing depending on which one I just commented on. And of course, if we click on one of these, it will also share just that individual photo. So that's really neat. But what's also really neat Let's close that, is now we also have keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to um, hit F to make this full screen. So we're going to hit F. And now, without a keyboard, uh, or I should say without a, a mouse and clicking, 
with only keyboard shortcuts, this light box is now um, full screen. Now if I hit the down icon, I can hide those thumbnails. If I hit the down icon again, I'm sorry, down uh, keyboard button, now the thumbnails are back. If I hit the up, it's going to bring up that little info tab. I can put, go down, only show the title. Let's go back up and do that. You get left and right to go navigate between. If you hit the space bar, you're actually going to have that social comment feature and the sharing come, you know, pop out from the side. You can space bar again to close that. And now we're back to that. Hit F, we can go back out of full screen. Got a lot of cool keyboard short shortcuts. We're going to be constantly adding more. We also plan to add some more swipe gestures. So if you're on an iPhone or an iPad, you can swipe left and right. Of course, you can tap to bring up things and whatnot, but we're going to be adding some more swipe gestures gestures down the road for um, bringing out the comments and things like that. So um, lots of really cool stuff to come for the Pro Lightbox. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you with the Pro Lightbox. If we close out of this, we'll just hit Escape to close out of that. I'm going to go back to the other options. And what I want to show you is actually that you can customize the Pro Lightbox a little bit. So take a look. Here we are in the Lightbox effects. You can see here I do have Pro Lightbox selected. You have a router slug. So this is actually, you can customize the word. Right here it says gallery. You can actually customize that word for branding purposes if you want. We can actually select a color. So we're, I'm going to make that this blue color right now, just a quick default. Um, so this is actually for like, you know, you can double tap to go to, uh, to go to full screen. It doesn't always work on every device, but that's an option. You can pan cropped images. So if you're cropping your images, um, you can actually have sort of a panning effect go through. And a bunch of different transitions for when you, uh, you know, swipe on mobile, things like that, or just on uh, the slideshow. And you've got some custom options if you need to if you have custom style sheets you're adding or anything like that, you can add that in as well. And we're going to hit save. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. I'm going to exit out of this. And I'm going to do a quick refresh of this URL so that the Pro Light box should now be blue. I'm going to open that up. And you can see here the icons are now blue down here in the bottom left. Right? And you've got the blue arrows and the blue X. So everything is now blue. So you can customize it to match your brand. Now what's really cool is this deep linking feature we've included. So if you go here and you share a link on Twitter, it's going to share what's called a deep link. And what that means is that if someone grabs that URL, it is going to open in the light box on this photo. So I'm going to grab the URL for this bike, this biker guy. Okay. I'm actually going to close it. I'm going to, I, I copied the URL. I'm going to, I'm going to close it. Go back to the home page so right now uh, there's no gallery right actually let's go make it even better i'm on the default hello world i'm going to paste that url that i just copied it's going to go back to that page and open the pro light box now if i did it with the um, commenting tab open it would do the same thing it would bring up the commenting tab as well so you can share comments and people can see it right away so that's a really neat feature in the Pro Light Box, and there's a lot more to come. So I'm very excited to share this with you as a starting point and um, wait to see what else is coming in the future. Thanks for watching.